Good day everyone. So today we're gonna to play a little game called How Hot Can I Get My Furnace? So I'm experimenting with making some bronze blades, but for that, I want the best metal I can get. I want it to be as hard as I can get it. Now the hardest bronze there is, is aluminum bronze, but I wanna take it a step further and I want it to be heat treatable aluminum bronze. Now there's a lot of different alloys you can mix for aluminum bronze, but today I'm gonna to be trying a cast iron aluminum bronze. For that, I need copper, aluminum, and cast iron. Because I want the ratios to be fairly accurate, I have some pure copper plate scrap. I'm gonna be using 2124 aluminum. It's mostly pure aluminum, but it's got a little bit of copper. I'm not quite sure how much. Based on what I'm reading, I'm gonna assume 5% copper in this. And a cast iron pan that I got at the thrift store. This should be pure iron with maybe a little bit of silicon in there. So for my total metal weight, I'm shooting for 2,500 grams. Yes, I'm using metric, it's easier. So I have weighed out about 2,100 grams of copper, 84%. 125 grams of cast iron for about 5%. This chunk is about 306 pounds. Again, it's 2024 aluminum, so I know there's a little bit of copper in there. I'm estimating about 5% copper really don't know if that's close. I've been told that some of the aluminum will oxidize, so I'm overestimating the aluminum, so it hopefully comes down to about the right ratio. According to what I've read, I need about eight to 12% aluminum in the alloy for it to be heat treatable. So I'm hoping this drops down to about 11, 12% aluminum when all is said and done. Freshly tempered, brand new crucible. Now in order to get this to mix properly, I'm told I need to hold it at around 2400 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what I'm shooting for. So it's right on the edge of where it needs to be. It's 2300 degrees right now. Just a little bit hotter and it'll be in that range where it's supposed to, that iron is supposed to get amalgamated into the copper. It's hovering around 2300 degrees. It's just not getting hot enough for the iron to mix. Iron's still solid, dang it. I think I'm just gonna pour this copper out before I put aluminum in. This gives kind of a good representation of what was happening with the iron. It just wasn't blending. It's kind of sitting on top. A lot of it, I think, just oxidized and turned to scale. Like, like that, this is magnetic. This was close to mixing. So I think I'm gonna have to just do a few modifications with another furnace and I should be able to reach temperature and get this right. So I pulled out my old stock pot furnace. This is the first furnace I ever made. Just a soup pot with some insulation and refractory around there. I'm gonna add a second burner to it. Hopefully, this will be able to get hot enough to make our alloy. So one interesting thing about these hearts, the bottom side don't have any magnetism at all. But the top side, they are magnetic. There is some iron in there. The iron must have floated up to the top. Supposedly, it's gonna mix if I get the temperatures right. I'm starting to wonder if the chemistry of the aluminum is essential for the metals to actually mix properly. Let me know if you've done this.
I'm adding the iron into the molten copper to hopefully reduce some of the oxidation. And adding the aluminum, you can see the iron is still floating on top there. And it also sucked out so much heat that it kind of solidified it when I put it in place. Well, we definitely got an aluminum bronze. That took the shape of the mold really well. It doesn't have the pits like the copper did, so that's a good casting metal. I don't know the percentages of aluminum and iron that got in there. This is all the dross I scraped off. And I know there's a fair bit of aluminum oxide in there. It even looks like there's some pieces of iron in there that didn't melt. I think I'll have to add a bit of extra aluminum when I remelt this. So our aluminum bronze has a pretty uniform magnetism, so I think the iron is inside there. But I've also heard people say that aluminum bronze is magnetic, and I don't know if that's because that's iron aluminum bronze or if that's the property of aluminum bronze. So if you know, let me know. The dross is really not magnetic, so I'm thinking that's just aluminum oxide, but now I'm a little concerned that I didn't get enough aluminum in there. Regardless, this is the alloy that we're going to use to make the knife. and I think that's going to end up making a pretty awesome blade. So if you want to see how that project turns out, hit the subscribe button, like the video, that helps the algorithm, and I'll see you back here next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.